Alrighty guys, welcome back to another sweet Construct 2 tutorial. That's kind of weird to say, Construct 2 tutorial? Whatever. So anyways, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the player. So, of course, he's a sprite. So let's go ahead and double click anywhere on the layout. Add sprite. You know, we obviously know how to do that. Insert, and we'll just insert somewhere above this platform for now. Now, just like before, what we want to do is we want to import a sprite strip. So right click this and press import sprite strip in your animation frames window. And then it's going to say, okay, your sprite strip is pretty much the animation of the dude you want. So what one do you want? Well, we want, if you go to your media bundle, sorry, sprites, jungle performer, player. And these are pretty much the different positions he can uh, be in. He can be running, uh, he can be jumping. What we just want right now is just him idling, which pretty much means that um, the user isn't pressing anything. Um, he's just uh, standing there. But the reason that there's an animation for it is because um, he actually like bobs up and down a little bit, as you guys are going to see. So he's just not actually standing in one place. He's you no know, moving around a little bit. It makes it more natural. So select this right here, this idle, and I'll show you guys what it is real quick. You guys probably can't even see just by looking at it, but he does indeed, his body bobs up and down a little bit. And what it's gonna do, since it's not square like the other one, this is actually one long strip. Whenever we double click this or open it, what Construct 2 is gonna do is it's automatically gonna detect, detect how many images there were, and it's automatically gonna crop them up for you. So there were indeed, I know you guys didn't count them, but there were indeed 11 individual images in that sprite strip. So that's one of the cool things, and that's uh, one of the things that Construct 2 is actually really intelligent about and really helpful. So just like before, get rid of this zero one, which is the default empty one, by right-clicking and delete it. And once we do that, you can see that our dude is now in this little window right here. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is this. The box around this guy and I'm gonna sneeze in like five seconds. One sec. And three, two. <coughs> blah, 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 okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, where was I? So right now we have a bunch of empty space around this dude. And you might think, okay, no big deal, not a big problem, but it actually is, and this is why. This box right here is what Construct2 is gonna look at whenever you're doing things like um, collision detection. So right now, if we he were to run into a box that was right where, or I don't know, an enemy that was right where my mouse is, he would die because it would be part of him. And obviously, we want to make this a little bit tighter to his body because the user might be confused, like, I didn't even touch an enemy and my dude died. So in order to crop this area to make it nice and tight around the player, what you want to do is this. You want to hold shift on your keyboard and press this tool right here. This is crop transparent edges. So hold down shift and uh, just click that tool. And as you can see, we now have a box that surrounds this guy nice and tight. So now whenever he hits a guy, it's uh, like an enemy or something, it's gonna react properly. And the reason that I actually held down shift on my keyboard is when you hold down shift, it applies it to all the animations, as you can see. If I didn't hold down shift then uh, like 1 through 10, it would still have the empty space. So that's a nice little shortcut for, again, Construct 2, making everything real easy. So the next thing we want to do after this is we want to change the origin point. Now if you click this little box right here, it's going to show you where the origin is. Now what the origin is another main point that whenever you're making a game, it detects pretty much where the object is. Now whenever you're making a platform game, it's always best to put the origin at the bottom center, or other words, on his feet. Because you want to detect when the guy is jumping on enemies, you want to detect when the guy is standing on platforms, and for this, you don't want to keep track of this point on his eye, because you don't care when his eye is on the platform, you care when his feet are on the platform or on the ground, or when he jumps on something. So in order to get this origin point right here exactly where you want it, there's actually a shortcut. Once you have this tool selected, this origin point tool, you can hit 2 on your number pad. And, and look at the origin point right now. 
I just hit two and it moved directly to the bottom center and actually if you hit four eight six and two you guys can see how it corresponds with the origin point but hit two and that's going to move your origin point to the bottom center now this obviously only does it for that first frame we were working on so we can either go one two through ten and do it manually or of course I want to tell you guys a shortcut that makes things a lot easier in order to get all of these other origin points aligned just like this original one was make sure you have that zero frame selected and in this image points window that popped up if you right click origin and hit apply to whole animation what this is going to do is it's going to apply that origin point it's pretty much going to say okay make the origin point at the bottom center for every single frame how freaking awesome is that so pretty much this uh, constructo is like making this game really easy for us um, you know if we just programmed all that it would be a pain in the freaking butt but that just saved us like an hour just by learning those couple shortcuts so now our dude is good to go and uh, he's all set up he's cropped nice and easy his origin point or pretty much detection point is on his feet so uh, yeah I think we're good for this tutorial so in the next video I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually make this into an actual animation so it doesn't just stay in one place like uh, the ground does so until then thank you guys for watching and uh, well see you next time